I've always had an interest or a passion for growing things. Grew up on a traditional Amish farm. I was in construction for 14 years prior to this. My back started acting up on me, drove me out of that business, and this was always something I wanted to do post-retirement sort of thing. And I guess they always say if one door closes, another opens, and this is what happened. I'm Matt Yoder from Chef's Harvest, located in Millersburg, Ohio. We grow hydroponic lettuce, strictly leafy greens is what we're focusing on. Right now we've got six bays in production with an additional three bays in the process of being expanded. Before we even broke ground, I tried to get feedback from local grocery stores. Would you buy my product if I grow? Nobody knew about this lettuce. So it's basically a new thing for the area. But once we started getting the the product in the local grocery stores here, it kind of ballooned, it took off. So I think that speaks volumes for the product itself. It's not a product we need to push. There is a void there we're able to fill. So we originally started with two bays, kind of as a side thing. Demand pushed us to do an expansion, add in another bay in 2020 added three more bays in 2021 and now in the process of adding another three in 23. The first two bays, I was like, we can run this ourselves, and then not accounting for the time it takes to run sales, the time it takes to do deliveries, the phone calls, and we decided it's time to add employees. Basically, my thought process at that time was one employee per bay, and one of the employees actually came up with the idea of using hoverboard. They didn't want to work with more employees. Basically, that's what, like, hey, we can do this. Like, we just got to get more efficient. And man, has it paid off. We could if sufficiently operate six bays with four employees and myself. We added herbs in 2019 when we did the third expansion. We added the herbs. We're going to the grocery stores with lettuce already. Instead of traveling farther to distribute our product, let's incorporate something else and also deliver that to the extra stores we're already delivering to. We do sell to our local school district as well here. They tell us our product is cleaner, 10 times cleaner than anything they're getting out of the field. It's kind of ironic, but during January and February, you can't grow enough kale. And it has to do with New Year's resolutions, people deciding we're going to eat healthier. They'll eat tons of kale in January and February, middle of February, like we're tired of eating kale. I always tell myself we're gonna have enough kale this year, but we never have enough kale. It's just the way it happens, so. Is, I mean, basically up to this part, demand is what has driven our expansion. Three bays we're adding right now. Our goal is not to add any more new accounts, but to try to fulfill the demand of the accounts we're already selling to. And it also, it's, it's kind of that trade-off. Yes, I've got people who want my product, but initially, I wanna take care of the people we're already selling to. The farming I had been experienced or exposed to up until before we got into hydroponics was pretty much dirt, far like farming and dirt. So there's pretty drastic differences between that. First advice and the best step we ever took in this whole thing is do the grower school like crop kit. Without that, I mean, I would have had to trial and error all of that. So it was great having that up front. And also, not quite sure what this is, make a phone call and they're like, hey, this is what you're looking at, treat it this way. So getting that stuff, down pat and it basically gave you an idea of what what you were getting into highly highly recommended when we were initially looking to get in and into the hydroponic we checked out different competitors um, what drew us to crop cream was the channel itself is is a big plus from the first expansion to the second the third and now the fourth they've continuously been improving their channels as far as tech support crop king's been awesome with that initially when we first started first three months were great, like fungus free, no mildew, nothing, and then mildew hit. So quick call to Crop King, we kind of diagnosed what we were going, we got advice with them on how to handle it, control it, and we've been doing that and it's been great ever since. This is uh, the Crop King's patroller. So I mean, highly, highly recommend it. This takes care of your EC, which is your electrical conductivity, which is the amount of nutrients that are in the water as far as allowing, helping your plants grow. The other one we use is the pH. We like to have a, a pH of 5.8. Varies from area to area, I guess, a little, but 5.8 works for us. Um, so that basically the way it works, the way ours is set up here is every three minutes, we take a reading and it adds that 
the nutrients and the sulfuric acid gets added to the water system as needed. So it's completely hands off. Um, we also get the alarms are set up. Are set up to my computer. I get alerts on my phone if this thing goes out of whack or we need attention, which is a good peace of mind if you're on vacation, you're camping or whatever. Something goes go crazy, you know about it, and you can quickly um, make the adjustments to it. Crop King's been a great partner for us as we grow the expansions, figuring out the tech support. They've just been awesome to work with. On top of that, they're an hour away from here, so I need product, I can always get it. If I order something, it'll be here the next day. So it's, I mean, they've just been awesome to work with. I'd highly recommend them to anybody looking to get into this. They've just been awesome to work with. Highly, highly recommend it.